yes. That's the type of baby hair I'm looking for. gentlemen and everybody in between I'm back with somebody else's hair and guess what it is wine and wigs day clink 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 it's actually water and Wednesday girl and I'm tight as you can see this is very clear it's not vodka it's water I have Invisalign e e e so we're drinking water right now but please just imagine that it's wine okay because I, I am so this is a nice beautiful purified water from Publix. Mm. Y'all tell me what you drinking down below. But we're not here for the water or the wine. We're here for the wig. And please excuse my broken promises, promises lisp with this Invisalign because I'm still working through it. I've only had it for two days. I wanna say thank you to Julia Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. Let me fill you in. Let me give you some details about this wig. So this is a Julia Blunt Cut Bob in the length 10 inches it's kind of like an angled bob because it does come down a little bit longer as you can tell on this side it is 10 inches long it has 150 percent density and it has a 13 by 4 lace frontal so girl you can part it from the rooter to the tutor not exactly the tutor but from the rooter to the muda this wig came with three combs and adjustable straps and I will tell you that she is pre-plucked she's not plucked plucked but she is pre-plucked it's giving you Mars attacks Bob that little alien was walking like this oh my god do y'all want to see the back you want to see the back let me let me let me show y'all what it looks like in the back y'all don't talk about me don't talk about me This wig was really, really simple to apply. You really don't need to do much to even customize her. But of course, you know, I was team too much. I used about uh, five or six hot tools and all types of stuff on this wig. You ain't got to do that. But I do have some good hot tools that you may want to use on your wigs. So if y'all want to see how I styled this hair and got this look, please keep on watching and I'll be back. Let's go ahead and get started on the wig girl i'm still getting used to this contraption in my mouth so if you hear a little lisp girl don't blame me blame the plastic in my mouth let's start with our base y'all know i use the same base that i always use it's gonna be a wig grip boom this is like my little magic it is hair all over it this is my magic piece i'm gonna put her on oh girl that's a whole hole <laughs> in my wig head. most of my hair is tucked away and protected and i look bald okay now let's go ahead and try on this wig this gorgeous julia hair wig i've been so excited to see her so let's see oh mm. oh she has a natural side part in there <laughs> girl Okay, she's giving a bit asymmetrical, so she's a little bit shorter on this side and a little bit longer on this side. They give you a pre-made side part. Of course, this can be worn as a middle part, but I think I'm going to stick with the side part. It's giving very much feminine, giving girly. We're going to do what we always do. We're going to pluck our frontal. So, as far as the pluckation, like the natural pluckation, I ain't going to lie to you. It's plucked. I really don't need to pluck this. I should leave it alone, but I'm not. I'm a plucker. I'm queen pluck a lot. Is that what I wanted to say? I don't think so. So we're gonna take our tweezers and we're just gonna part. I'm gonna start on this side. And what I like to do is I like to thin out from the rooter to the tuta, okay? I like to section like a little part and then I just get to pluck it. I go in and I pluck. Most of our hair is a little bit thinner in the temples. I just go a little bit harder right here. Just, I might give it a few extra plucks and then I part. And then I'm just gonna go in and 
do it again. And this is gonna be a quick pluck. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna go to the front and just pluck a little bit out the front. I'm probably gonna go over it like one more time. But girl, I would say don't do too much because you could end up with a bald spot and there's no turning back. Okay, okay, yeah, that's it. That's what I wanted. Right there, y'all see that? Oh yes, I love that. Okay, let's go here. So the hairline is plucked, girl, that took like 15 minutes to pluck. And if you know anything about how I pluck, girl, I pluck for a good 30, 45 minutes. Now we get to move on to laying down this hairline and making sure she looks good. For the hairline, of course, I use the same products. If you have any products that you know are going to be good, please let me know down below. But I use a flattening souffle. This is the ZLA Instant Flattener flattening souffle i'm gonna direct the hair backwards this hair is so silky i like to pull the hair like away from the face we're gonna take some of the zla flattening souffle and i'm just gonna i'm just gonna flatten it backwards boom do the same thing here I like to go in to the part and just lay all that down. Lay it down. There we go, she's molded. Okay, so I like to take a baby hair brush and just really get this hair laying down. Put a little extra pressure on the diamond. I'm just brushing it all in the direction that I want it to stay. She looking realistic. She looking like a realistica. So now that that's done, we need to reinforce the flatness with our favorite product, my tried and true, my rapid strips. We're gonna lay her down. Okay, so we're just gonna tie it down. Girl, these teeth. Oh my god. They over here running around my mouth, shifting into place. All we need to do is allow her to dry. We try and speed up the process, so I like to use a blow dryer. I'm gonna use this Revlon blow dryer and I'm gonna blow dry it on high and cool and warm. I'm gonna switch back and forth between cool and warm. So I think the hairline is dry, girl, I'm praying because who has the time to be playing with the hairline? Let me actually look. Oh my God, this hairline is sitting. I did that, I did that. Okay, so let me calm down <laughs> and let's move on to tinting the lace. It doesn't matter if the lace is close to my skin tone or not. 
I need to tint my lace. So I have this lace tint spray from Flawless Illusions by Kellen Derrick. If you don't know who Kellen Derrick is, he is the wig extraordinaire. And I'm in the color medium brown. Let's go ahead and pop this off the head and we're gonna go ahead and spray into the cap so okay so i like to tint my lace by just turning the cap like this and then spraying let me shake this up so you can spray this as many times as you like but you're supposed to spray it blow dry it and if you need it to be a bit darker you do a second layer oh and i take my blow dry and we're just gonna blow dry her free Okay, he says to blow dry it on warm. So, blow dry it on warm. Me thinks she's dry, so I'm gonna rub my hands. So we're just gonna go ahead and pop her back on because it's time. We gotta do a little bit of extra flattening, so. Oh, we not middle parting it today, girl. I know how you like to middle part it, but not today. I have a new little product, y'all know I've been like really spending my money on hair stuff. I went to the beauty supply store, spent $200 and got a whole bunch of hot tools. This is a small pressing comb. So I wanted it for like the front areas of my head. So this is a tiny hot comb, it's a small one. And this is my regular size hot comb. You see that? Let's see, this goes up to 430 degrees. Okay, so the hot comb is on and this one I'm gonna use to like to get into the roots, okay? We're getting to the root. And now I'm gonna use my little baby hot comb to get the roots. I like to pull it back to where my wig cap and my wig grip is so I don't burn my forehead. And I'm gonna comb this backwards. Oh, it's smooth. Ooh. This makes a difference when it has smaller teeth. Girl, get you, girl. Okay, so I'm gonna take the back of the comb and just kind of reinforce that flatness. That is awesome. Okay, now let's do this side. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. Oh. Girls, hot. Oh my God, I done came up with something. Y'all, this tiny or tiny hot comb can make a world of difference. I am so impressed with myself. <laughs> Girl, cause it gets to the root, okay? Root. Now that we're all flat, flat, I mean, we are flat, flat. Like, BBL tummy flat. Y'all gonna get sick of my BBL joke. Okay, now we're just gonna go ahead and clip the hair back because we need to cut our lace. This is like a pretty self-explanatory process, but grub. One slide in a hand, you don't lost a wig. I get close to a mirror, and I just cut. I follow what I like to call the yellow brick road. So I follow the yellow brick road to paradise. And I take little tiny snips until, until the lace is cut. And look how good that looks. I probably need to add some tint to my, hold on. My wig cap is showing just a little bit more than I would have liked. So I need to take some lace tint and I'm just, I just sprayed it onto a brush. Ooh, diffuse girl, diffuse. There we go. Let's put her back on. There we go. It's a little bit less obvious. Look, oh my God. I am melting. She's melting. Where's my wig doing spray? I done lost everything. So how I like to do my hair lines is I spray over the lace and I just let it melt down. I really did not want to get it on the hair, but I did. Oh girl, a mess is what it is. So I spray over the hairline and then I take my Blow dry it and then I blow dry it down. G 
You can't tell me that is not melted. Where is the lace? Somebody, where is the lace? So I'm gonna crawl across the whole hairline until we're fully melted down. So same process, spray, blow dry, repeat. Spray, blow dry, repeat, period. Let's keep going. So it is blow dried down. I think this part's still a little sticky. She could, she could dry for a little bit longer, but we don't have time to waste. I really want to show y'all what this looks like. Like it looks so good, girl. I could get away with no baby hairs, but am I gonna do that? No. So now that the hairline is down, we can do our baby hairs. So when I do my baby hairs, I like to part out like a small amount of hair. I'm gonna brush out all the product. I have my new little baby hair tool. So this is a Red by Kiss pencil ceramic tourmaline iron. I've noticed the girls have been curling their baby hair. So I'm gonna use this to curl it. And then I'm gonna cut it. So I'm gonna cut it pretty short and curl it again let's curl it away from the face yes so i'm taking the baby hair brush and i'm going to use my got to be glued gel and i'm just going to use a tiny bit sometimes i use too much and just lay it down mm -mm, that's too thick i don't like that Oh yes, that's the type of baby hair I'm looking for. And I want the hairs to like lead into the rest of the hairs and just boom. We're gonna do the same thing for the rest of the hairline and then we get to get to styling, finally.
Okay, so the baby hairs are dry. Girl, I go through rapid strips like Captain Crunch. We need to get to styling this hair. So next I need to blow dry because we're prepping for curling. So, so we need to use heat protectant because this heat protectant is the Tresemme Keratin Smooth stuff. I love this stuff. It smells so good. It gives, smells like a salon. So I'm going to use this Revlon uh, three in one blow dryer. I love this thing. I want it to be straight and prepped for our curls coming up next. So let me turn this on. You could just stop here if you wanted to, but I'm not doing that. I want it like, I want a little bit more body on the hair. So y'all know, like I bought all these tools, but I cannot curl hair. I could use a barrel curler, but it takes me so long and it's so friggin' frustrating. I used these hot curlers before. These things are bomb. These are the Remington hot curlers. Yeah, you get 20 curlers to add to your hair. It seems like it's not enough, but sis, it is. So I started in the middle section, right here. So I'm just gonna curl backwards. Let me separate the rest of this hair away. I'm gonna pull it back in a little mini ponytail holder so nothing gets in the way. So we're just gonna part the hair. Doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm gonna take a hot curler. And, ooh, I think I'm being dramatic because it's not that hot, but if y'all know me, y'all know I'm dramatic. Like so, like that. And then you just clip it. Ah, oh, so wonderful. Love it. Okay, so I'm gonna continue on to the rest of the head and then we're gonna do the back. So let me do the sides. Okay, so that took about 
15 to 20 minutes. You're supposed to leave the hot curlers on for, I think it's five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking these down because I'm impatient. And I love that these are quick rollers. So I'm gonna start from the side. So let's see what, let's see what the curl is giving. Girl, that is a cr curl. What are you talking about? Uh-oh, did I do that right? <laughs> Okay, girl, I had to do something with this side. I should have known better with curling this side, but y'all know I don't know how to curl hair, but this is, ooh. <sighs> Baby! Oh, this hair is beautiful. Hopefully y'all can see this beautiful hair. It's absolutely gorgeous. Y'all tell me what you think down below i want to say thank you to julia hair for providing this gorgeous bobbiana wig to me and sponsoring this video if you are interested in this bob wig because it's fall time we're moving up to fall date night sweaters boots okay but if you are interested in this unit interested in this wig i'll leave a link for it down in the description box below. If you're also interested in any of the hot tools that I just pulled out of my arsenal because I have all the toys, I'll leave links for it down below as well. As for this wig, if you'd like to purchase it, I will leave um, the coupon code down below. The coupon code for this wig is Y3 T saying three, just hit the camera. The coupon code for this wig is Y3TB for $10 off. Anyway, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you again for 40,000 subscribers. So happy. I love you all so much. I can't thank you enough. Really, I can't thank you enough. I love you all. And I'll see you in my next video. Imagine I'm drinking wine because um, I'm dreaming about it too. Ooh, that jawline. Bye. <laughs>